Grand Theft Auto 5 IROs inside the creative process with Dan Hauser Vertical Line Technology Vertical Line TheGuardian.com Turn Auto Play Off Turn Auto Play On Please activate cookies in order to turn Auto Play Off Jump to Content Test Jump to Comments C Jump to Site Navigation 0 Jump to Search for Terms and Conditions 8 Edition UK US So Your Activity Email Subscriptions Account details. Linked services. Profile mobile. About us. About us. Australia team. Contact us. FAQs. Press office. Jobs. Terms of service. Privacy policy. Advertising guide. Guardian Weekly. Subscribe. How to subscribe. Guardian Weekly. Email services. Ethany. Android. Dot GSC control CSD width, 25 rem exclamation point important, padding, 0, float, right, input dot GSC search button background color, number sign PDDDDD, border color, number sign PDDDDD, input dot GSC search button colon hover background color, number 999, border color, number 999, news, world, sport, comment, culture. Business. Environment. Science. Travel. Technology. Life and style. Data. TV. Video. News. Technology. Games. Next. Previous. Blog home. Grand Theft Auto 5 IROs inside the creative process with Dan Hauser. Rockstar co-founder Dan Hauser discusses how the studio approaches the new GTA title and the vast collaboration involved. Meet Dan Hauser, architect of a gaming phenomenon. Share. Tweet this. Email. Link to video. GTA The official trailer. We're four days away now. After a year of pre-publicity and a five-year wait since GTA IV, the latest installment in Rockstar's Ganglin Opus is almost upon us. Featuring a game world larger than than any other title in the series, hours of cinematic sequences and a truly epic cast of crazed characters. Grand Theft Auto V has a scale and ambition that exceeds most triple development on the current consoles. Indeed, people are already calling GTA V the first next-generation video game. Last October I traveled to New York to get one of the first demos of the game. While there, I met Dan Hauser, co-founder of Rockstar and co-writer of the Grand Theft Auto titles. There, I asked him about the process of building a new GTA from scratch and how the different parts of Rockstar North combine to allow its complicated interplay of story, side missions and sandbox freedom. In the first part of that interview, he tells us about the creative process, about how the characters are written and how they are brought to life, and about the complexities of marrying narrative and gameplay in such a large adventure. Part 2 follows on Monday. How do you begin the Grand Theft Auto game? Are you always thinking of the next one? We don't see it as a production line in that way. We have a lot of guys on the team by Euros it's not like a freelance unit that gets taken down and put back together again. So of course, when it finishes we do need to roll onto something fairly quickly, but there's a certain amount of downtime. Not till the very dying members of this will we give the next one a moment's thought. And that's if we're going to do another one a Euros we always said that if we couldn't think of something interesting to do then we'd stop a Euros for this or Red Dead but particularly for GTA. As much as anything they are the response to what we think went well or what we could do better or what could be different from the last one. GTA IV felt like a real change in direction by Euros or at least a maturation by Euros for the series Euros vertical line. After San Andreas, with the move to high definition, we really wanted it to be focused and very tight by Euros apart from anything else. We couldn't do any more than that by Euros because of the complexities of just making an HD game at the time. This time, we wanted to make something very broad in scope because we have a bit more understanding of the tech and we wanted to use that to put a big landscape in there and lots of outdoor aspects to it. That was the first sliver of a concept. And how do things usually progress after the first kernel of an idea? How do you decide where to go next? I think it's Sam Hauser and Aaron Garbutt who decide the Euros vertical line. They'll certainly discuss it with Leslie Benzies, producer myself and a few other people, but it's between the two of them by Euros Aaron especially because he is to plant it and build it. Sam gets really heavily 